Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life and this is another super special video for you where I am going to review and also give you a page by page view of everything that comes in this particular book which is the Antiquarium Sticker Book. It has over or it claims, I didn't count them myself physically, but I believe them, that they have stickers in this particular book. There is a little seal right there that says so. And what we're going to do that most people don't do is actually take you from the cover to the back cover, cover to cover. So every page you'll get a look at. And I will do this over a series of, I'm going to say three videos. I'm trying not to make it four, but that might happen. And also, you, there are already videos out there where I go through this entire book. This was book number one that was published. Um, and this is book no in 2020. And this is book number two that was published in 2021. Both of these are first editions. And I do have multiple copies of each edition. And the reason why is so that I can actually use the stickers within, but also have a complete copy that is unused. And in this particular journal, and the reason I put it here is this journal, I have a flip through um, of this journal coming up soon. So you get a little sneaky peek at the cover, but I did use several stickers in this journal and that was the first time that I actually officially used the stickers in a bigger project. I did use some when I made, you know, things such as these, which will have their own little review and little um, video coming up. And here's another one that I made, which also features, you know, lots of stickers from the book as well. So without further ado, let's, as I love to say, get into this. So this book, as I stated, was published in the year 2021, first edition. So the information is right here. And yes, because someone had asked me, I believe it was on Facebook, like it, it was published in China, or a, it was actually printed, I should say, in China, odd Dot is the name of a company that is part of Macmillan Publishing that actually um, helped produce these books. So once again, just like the other book, gorgeous paper and your front page and your back pages. And this is one of the things that I tell people when they're looking for old books or they're using old books, they commonly rip out the guts and they never use these pieces of paper. These are usually the highest quality pieces of paper in a book. So there are many old books that get discarded that have supremely beautiful paper in it that you can use in any of your paper projects or any project that you're working on really. And in this book, one of the things that I noticed right away when I even when I open this page, and I don't know if it's coming across on camera, is I felt that the colors were richer in this first book than they are in the second book. I kind of feel like in the second book they probably used a less expensive like ink because there's definitely a difference in the richness of color. And also, I don't know like if it's just... I don't know what it is, but one of the other things I felt is like the pictures had like more depth to them, whereas the other pictures are great. They're wonderful. Of course, I love the colors. I mean, I talk about it in the videos, but it I could just tell that that's like a difference that I saw immediately. And so here you have, you know, in all of these pretty much, not every single one, but the large majority of what they used in these books are actually historical prints, you know, from all different places, probably from obviously books, 
um, things they got from museums, et cetera, et cetera. There, I should look up the copy. I have to do that for you for the next video, but the copyright laws, but I believe the year is 19, I want to say 22, and I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's sometime in the 1920s and older where that stuff is not under copyright anymore. So you are able to find these images out in the world yourself and use them as you please. And once again, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Did you hear me say gorgeous? Paper in between these pages. It's just beautiful. I don't know why, like with the light reflecting, it looks really weird, but the color is just like this page. Rich, beautiful, and every page in between, which is something I wish was different for this book as well as the other, this is the motif that you have. I wish that they had used like more variations in design. I noticed another thing in this book, lots of flora and fauna. It, there seems to be a lot more of it than there was in the other book. And I did not look at every page of this book. I probably thumbed through maybe 20 pages. So there are things that you are going to see and I am going to see as well for the first time. And because one of the things I quickly noticed is there seemed to be a lot of this type of like artwork in the books. And of course, these are like tiles that were made in the 17, 1800s. Um, some of them could have been things such as um, parts of tapestries or carpets. Um, etc. Like they love their material back then. I love this picture right here. This lady is like, here I am, hear me roar. Um, I don't know what this depicts. Obviously you could actually use this cartouche right here in your art creations to put a message on of your own, but I do like her a lot. And I, there's also several what I call mirror images um, and they're not always exact. A mirror image is truly, you know, a reflection of the exact copy of whatever is being reflected. But, you know, there could be differences, but obviously this is a mirror, meant to be a mirror image. And you will see, like here, you can see it with these flowers. Even with the bugs, yes, these are different bugs, but I notice that there's like a lot more of that going on in this first edition. I wonder if they like took feedback and once again, <laughs> the, like I said, you'll see that quite a bit here and here. Um, butterfly, butterfly, and, or moth. Is it a butterfly or is it a moth? But you have this little ragamuffin of a girl with her little corn husky looking doll. Obviously this is do, like the celebration of May, going around the Maypole, that kind of thing, very common. And a Maypole is not what we in the, I was going to say in the 20th century, um, but even in the 21st century, you know, envision as a Maypole, usually it looks something like this or some variation thereof. And also in this book, um, besides all the naturalistic elements, um, there are lots of like children. I noticed more children seem to be in this book as well. This baby, which is very creepy, crawling out of this egg. Not creepy that it's crawling out of the egg, but look at the face. That's weird. And we could not figure out what this was. Some, some One opinion was this was persimmon. I believe it's a tom tomato or tomato. What do you guys think this is? Another difference in this book is that the alphabet is at the back of the book. So you don't have the alphabet interspersed throughout the book. I like that so much better. Because if you're looking for a particular, you know, letter or something, you don't have to thumb through the entire book to find what you're looking for. You are able to simply go to the back of the book and the alphabet is there in order, mirror imaging again. And, um, and I like the fact that these hands are all on one page as well. And look 
at that. That is so cute, cute, cute. And the other thing, of course, just like the other book, the numbers are in the back of the book as well. Love the black. I call this the black page. Love it. Gorgeous. The colors really pop out on this. And, you know, if you were under the ocean and you came across this, you would first be mesmerized and then maybe, you know, sort of terror, a little bit of terror. I don't know, like, I think, I don't know what these are. Like, we were trying to figure out, are these things that were under the sea? Are these just artistic renderings of something? This is definitely supposed to be a jellyfish, jellyfish. So we feel that these are all different, except for, I mean, is this a jellyfish? We felt like they were all jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> I was going to try to prepare you for this. I have to admit, when I first flipped through the book, this big sucker right here kind of gave me a wee bit of a start because I am an arachnophobe. Um, but, I mean, the detail, you can see every little tiny hair on its hairy legs. This is the closest I'll ever get to even, like, touching anything like this. But if you are making, you know, a dark academia, a... Um, magic spell or Halloween themed or dark arts themed book that's a nice addition once again mirror imaging all through this book I will try not to continuously repeat that but you can see it everywhere this gorgeous beetle um, I'm, I know I'm mentioning the closet historian again she has no clue in the world obviously that I exist but I do follow her channel and she recently made a bunch of beetle brooches that she handmade using these micro beads and hand sewing, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely amazing. Um, she would probably really enjoy that one with a green tinge to it. And once again, as I mentioned at the beginning, I noticed there's quite a bit of this type of design from the beginning of the book even you know as I flip through about 20 pages miscellaneously in this book that was something that I noticed and here we have once again very classic themes I will say that some of the artwork in this book is a little bit more it's not as refined as the second book um, you could tell and it part of it is like when they copy the images you know you're not it's not going to be the same as what the original image will look like but you could tell that these are a little more rudimentary totally rudimentary and I appreciate this image for a few reasons one this could be um, in like history has been looked at as a very negative image because usually the person depicted isn't like ghostly white like this is a ghostly white guy um so the fact that you know some attention to detail was paid yeah i'm trying not to say the words <laughs> and crowns always in these books and this is the stuff that I like a lot. I love like labels of, you know me, I like advertising things. I like things that are pre-Victorian, um, but I do like Victorian as well. And so you, you know, it's like man is trying to fly. How cool is that? And who is in this little carry-all? Like there's a person in this basket. So you can kind of use your imagination this one with a lady playing this instrument, which I don't remember its name. Very cool. And then we get, once again, back into more floral. Um, more floral and, you know, just natural, what I call naturalistic things. Because you have the bugs, you have the flowers, these beautiful reeds. And yes, it is, I believe it was negative two today outside. So hand warming, 
Look at this gorgeous bird. Imagine that on one of your projects. And just to give you a measurement of this book, it's eight inches by six inches. So these stickers are like, you can see they're pretty, look at how gigantic this sticker is. Let me see if I have a business card I can snap up for you. So I can show you. just for scale this is a standard size business card and if I put it at the bottom of the sticker I mean it's huge these are definitely you know statement stickers look how long this bird imagine that like at the top or the bottom of a page this beautiful what I believe is a Mayan um, sticker or maybe it's Peruvian and another um, attribute of this book is definitely um, diversity as far as countries go are represented in here, which I like a lot because variety is the spice of life. And look at this beautiful sticker and the two little baby birds and they're waiting for their mom or pop or both to feed them. And now we get into, like, these are more refined pictures. This one a little more rudimentary, more rudimentary. So nice mix here. Love the sticker with a girl and her arms are crossed in the back. So the detail in these, uh, you know, how they picked up these images and picked up so much detail is also part of the fascination, I believe. And I know that um, a few people have told me that they have these books or they have one book and not the other book I could tell you right now these books are completely affordable um, if you use Roikiten you can get cash back look at the links down below in the descriptions of the of this video and also um, free shipping in most cases and they're sold ever like I believe I like one I believe I got from Target um, online target.com and the other one came from another place I don't remember but wow look at this page it is just full of stickers because you have three six nine twelve thirteen on this page three six nine three six nine ten on this page and I love turtles look at the cute little turtle so cute um there is a speculum okay ladies <laughs> we shall clinch our knees together um but the other thing i noticed in this book is less like text so whereas the other book had plenty of text partial book pages that type of thing and the first this first edition doesn't have as much of that as you can see and we are going to get to a stopping point in a few minutes. And now we get into some, you know, animals. Because as you noticed on the other side, animals represented were mostly like owls, which is a definitely a common theme, and birds. But then you have like koalas, and I don't know what this is called. I think it's a wombat, etc. A toucan is there, which is very unusual. Um, so... At this point we are going to stop on this page and you could take a look at that look at this beautiful big blue bird so pretty and this is a multiple part like in this book that's another difference less multi-part stickers whereas in the other book you could have a page that looked like this and there would be technically like eight stickers hidden in inside of it that you could peel out in this book there's not a lot of that or you might have lots of decoration here some figures in the corner something in the middle this book does not have a lot of that at all so anyway thank you guys for tuning in for this um, flip through of this book I will continue and like I said probably two more videos maybe three so that you could see everything that is in this book and decide for yourself if it is for you versus buying the book and then finding that it's not really anything you would use 
Um, I will have the botanical book coming soon and I will definitely review that one and also flip through that one with you guys. That one I have never seen in person but I have two copies that are on the way to me now. So I will be able to definitely, you know, go over that. Also, I don't need all these books. I don't need all these stickers. So at some point, I will be giving away pages of these books. So stay tuned for that in the future. I do have another um, giveaway that is going on right now. And the details to that will be in the comments of this video and the description. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Velvet Lounge Life. And please remember to simply click the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you prefer. Also subscribe to the channel. It is the only way we can grow and continue to bring content. And leave any comments that you have down below because I answer everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember that your health is your wealth, and without your health, you have absolutely nothing. So please.